it's appropriate that we launch our manifesto in a part of industrial West Belfast, a strong working uh, company that is going out, not just employing people here, not just being productive here, but being productive and effective in uh, the wider world. And what the SDLP are offering people in this election is the honest choice of effective working representation within Westminster to complement the strong, robust, effective team that we are putting forward in the Assembly. It is the SDLP in the context of the Assembly who has been putting forward the positive ideas to use devolution more strongly and more positively. And when we put forward uh, ideas to reprofile uh, the budget, uh, to better address the economic impact of the recession, the DUP and Sinn Féin pleaded powerlessness. They said there is nothing we can do. These are all issues that are decided elsewhere. These are all issues that are decided by the British government or by governments internationally. There is nothing we as an executive can do. Now, first of all, we pointed out the positive ideas of what they could do. But secondly, insofar as there are matters that can only be dealt with at the level of national governments and them working internationally, the SDLP is offering people positive, effective representation there. Look at our record in the last Parliament. We took on the issue of surging fuel prices there. We spoke out about what the banks were doing within speculation to actually contribute to those high fuel prices that everybody else uh, was paying. No other party was doing anything on such issues. We spoke out about the whole issue of bank bonuses long before there was a banking uh, collapse. We predicted some of the problems uh, that came. No other parties were pointing out those issues or taking those issues uh, on. We also showed strong initiative on behalf of local people. Other people have already given the example before of the Desmond's pension problem. All parties made commitments to the hundreds of Desmond's pensioners across the North who were affected by that. They didn't all live in foil. Only a fraction of them lived in foil. Only one party held to its commitment. We made people an honest promise and we gave people honest delivery. Not one other MP of any other party lifted a finger to help in relation to Desmond's pensions. Not a finger, despite all their promises. And their but it wasn't just Desmond's pensioners we stood up for. Whenever the British government madly proposed to do away with the 10p tax rate, we were among the first MPs to speak out against that. Whenever Labour members did their rebellion and tabled their amendment, the only other party that was in on that amendment was the SDLP. Why? Because we knew it was going to create losers. There were going to be over 100,000 losers in Northern Ireland. People in low paid work and of course many, many pensioners. And we stood up for those pensioners and we forced changes and rethinks uh, there. Similarly, we fought hard in relation to winter fuel uh, payments to get improvements and commitments there. And we worked to make sure that there was the commitment to restore the earnings link with pensions. That of course had been abolished by the Tories many years ago. We would like that restoration to come sooner and we will be campaigning in the next Parliament to make sure that that link is restored before 2013. But people will know across the North that when they make a choice for an SDLP candidate, they are giving a mandate to that sort of effective representation on the real issues that matter uh, to them. People will also know that it was the SDLP who stood up strongly against 42-day uh, detention and the secret inquest, all those things that were part of the counter-terrorism uh, bill. There wasn't a peep from Sinn Féin uh, about those issues. Did they go into Downing Street? They tell us that they do their business in Downing Street, that that's where they have the leverage. What leverage did they even try to use on those issues with Downing Street? None whatsoever. And then at the weekend, we have lies from Jerry Kelly. Lies from Jerry Kelly to say that the SDLP have uh, voted for no jury trials in the last parliament, that we voted for public interest immunity certificates. We did not. When that legislation went through, it was the SDLP who was opposing it and opposing what the British government uh, were doing. And this legislation, we were told, was all part of the peace process. We were told it was all part of what had been washed through with Sinn Féin and uh, the DUP. And it was only the SDLP who stood up against that. And, of course, we have the evidence of Sinn Féin's dealing with Downing Street. They did a deal in Downing Street. They used their leverage. They got the British government to produce the On Their Own spill. 
And of course that on the run spill betrayed every single victim in Northern Ireland, including victims of state violence, because they were all going to escape with secret certificates issued behind the backs of uh, victims. And it was SDLP opposition to that bill that forced Sinn Féin and the British government to drop it. So we were actually able to use our position in Westminster to stop a Sinn Féin dirty deal with Downing Street. That's how effective representation at Westminster can be when it is honest and when it is open. 